Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl, AI the Great. And today, I'm coming at you with another great video. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. My content is fragrances, fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. Now let's get started. Oh, you smell good, girl. What you got on? Ooh, something smells good. Hey guys. So in today's video, I wanna be sharing with you my top 10 most complimented fragrances. I did a top 10 video in the beginning of the year of my most complimented fragrances of 2020. Now this list is gonna change and it's going to continue to rotate because I continue to get new fragrances. I wear new fragrances in my collection. I rediscover new loves in my collection. So these 10 fragrances are the ones in my collection that I have been wearing so much since the start of the year. And these are the fragrances that I get the absolute most compliments on, hands down. I know a lot of times these complimented videos get a little bit of flack because a lot of people are always like, oh, I don't wear fragrances for compliments. I don't wear fragrances for compliments either. But just to be honest with myself and to be honest with you, I like getting a you smell good compliment. You know when you're around a group of people and somebody's like, mm, something smells good, what is that? I'm not gonna say, Oh yeah, girl, that's me. Like, I'm not doing that, but I know deep down inside, like, <laughs> yeah, you smell me. A compliment on my fragrance is definitely one of my absolute favorite compliments that is so greatly appreciated because the amount of money and time that I spend on these fragrances, yeah, I want you to compliment me. And if you do compliment me, it is greatly appreciated. So the first fragrance on the list is by Jo Malone, and this is Myrrh and Tonka. Guys, this is a warm and sexy and comforting fragrance that I absolutely love to wear in the fall and the winter. I've been wearing it in the spring as well because like I told you guys, it's been cold up here. Like some days it's chilly, some days it's like really hot, but I've been wearing this fragrance and layering it with my lotion and I've been getting so many compliments on this fragrance. Like it's kind of crazy how many compliments I've gotten. I usually wear this fragrance in the fall and winter. I started wearing it end of March. I was wearing it a few times in April. Guys, this is a beautiful scent. And it actually gets to shine when I'm not wearing so many layers because in the fall and winter, guys, I'm always super cold and I do a lot of things outside for work. So I'm bundled up. Like seriously, like you, I'm like a dominable snowman <laughs> or whatever he's called. So you really can't get this fragrance to shine that much in the fall and the winter, but I definitely can smell it because I'm smelling, you know, myself and I'm spraying it on my scarf but wearing it just with like a sweater or a jean jacket or even a leather jacket it actually gets a chance to shine and, and show its true colors this fragrance has been getting me so many compliments every time i've worn it since march up until now every time i wear this fragrance i get a compliment it's nutty it's vanilla it's almond there's myrrh there's tonka such a beautiful beautiful fragrance guys you definitely need this it's not that pricey and i know you guys hear a lot that joe malone fragrances don't last long i don't have any performance issues with this fragrance although i do layer with my cream and i've never worn it without layering but you can still smell it because even when my skin isn't showing and i'm wearing like a jacket and a scarf you know you can't smell the cream through all that through all those layers so this definitely pushes through i don't have any performance issues with this she's not beast mode and she's not giving you like 15 12 hour performance but she's going to be on you for about eight hours even more eight to nine hours i've i've worn this all day joe malone myrrh and tonka so the next fragrance on the list is by chanel and this is coco mademoiselle and guys can you peep this bottle look at this dent <laughs> this isn't a dent this is an annihilation like i completely ran through this bottle I absolutely love this fragrance and I have the body creams and the shower gels and the sprays and the deodorant sprays. I have everything that goes with Coco Mademoiselle because this is a very beautiful fragrance and it is a very highly complimented fragrance in my collection. Bay loves it. He's actually the one that purchased this for me so I know he loves it. Let me tell you some of the notes. There's orange mandarin, there's orange blossom, there's bergamot, there's mimosa, there's rose, there's ylang ylang, there's tonka bean, patchouli. Um, there's vanilla, white musk. It's a beautiful, beautiful scent, guys. Very long-lasting as well. This can stay on your skin for about 8 to 10 hours. This is a beast. Like, she can project. Like, she looks so pretty in this light pink color. And she looks so dainty and sophisticated. But this, she's a beast. She is screaming. Like, 
here I am. This is a beautiful one, guys. Very, very highly complimented, and it's very recognizable as well. Next up, we have C by Giorgio Armani. Guys, according to the Armani website, this is for the modern woman who's strong, yet feminine, sophisticated, yet charismatic. I can definitely see a woman who's polished and cultured wearing this fragrance, but also fun, flirty, and girly. Beautiful scent, and people actually really love this fragrance. It leaves a beautiful scent trail when the breeze blows. This one right here is definitely going to get in everybody's nostrils. So this fragrance wasn't initially a love at first sniff for me, but it was one of those, I spread it on my skin, I wasn't really feeling it, but then I couldn't stop smelling myself. And then I had to purchase a bottle because I absolutely love this fragrance. There's bergamot, there's mandarin, there's rose de mai. There's neroli, there's jasmine, there's patchouli, there's amber, there's woods. It's a soft, spicy fragrance. It's a beautiful scent. It is long lasting. I'm getting about six to eight hours on my skin. When I wore this, I was probably out for about seven hours and I did smell it the entire time. I smelled it on my clothes. And that's probably the longest I've ever worn this fragrance. As you can see, I haven't worn it that much, but every time I wear it, I've gotten compliments on this fragrance. So, and I've been wearing her a lot lately. In the month of April and May, I've been wearing her a lot. So definitely one of my most complimented fragrances, C by Giorgio Armani. Are y'all tired of me talking about this fragrance? <laughs> Guys, I can't help it. Like, I can only give you the truth. I'm not gonna sit up here and lie to you. If I get a new fragrance or a fragrance that I'm crushing on lately, like, I absolutely love this fragrance, but there's so many other fragrances in my collection that I wanna talk about. But for this video, for a most complimented, I would be lying to you if I did not put this fragrance on the list. Although it's in a lot of my videos and I don't wanna continue talking about this fragrance and like beating Narciso Rodriguez for her down your... <laughs> down your throat every time i wear this fragrance i'm getting compliments i'm talking about through masks i'm talking about on lines at the grocery store i'm talking about at home goods like definitely one of my most complimented fragrances i absolutely love this fragrance there's rose there's peach there's musk there's orange blossom there's vetiver amber and vanilla if i'm just throwing on a sweatsuit and running errands i can pull this fragrance if bae is like Let's go grab something to eat. It may not be like a super sexy date night, but I mean, I'm still getting like halfway cute. You know those dates when you're putting something on, but it's not like, you're not doing the most. You're not doing too much. You can do that with this fragrance as well. And if you wanted to do it on a sexy date night when you are doing the most, this is a beautiful fragrance for that as well. Definitely a compliment getting fragrance in my collection. Or maybe it's just how it works on my body chemistry. But yeah, this one, she's not to be played with. For her by Narciso Rodriguez. Next, we have one of my favorite fragrances that I hardly ever talk about on this channel. But guys, can you see the dent that I put in this one as well? Now, my issue with this fragrance is the bottle. I absolutely hate this bottle. That's why I went back and forth with the fragrance and I was like, should I get it, should I not get it? But guys, every time I smelled this fragrance, it was just drawing me to it. I was always drawn to this fragrance. And when I tell you that every time I wear this fragrance, I get compliments each and every time. And you can get this in a gift set. There's always gift sets with this. And they also sell the body creams and the hand cream separate. So if you already have the fragrance and you wanna layer it, the body cream is divine. It smells just like this. It's very fragrant. It's a nice thick consistency as well. So layering it is amazing with this. And I have no performance issues with this fragrance. It's very long lasting. It's not super beast mode, but it's not a skin scent. Like when people come in your area, you have like a nice little cloud around you of your scent. It's a beautiful scent. It's like flirty. It's girly. It's sexy. Men absolutely love this. Like seriously, I need them to change this grenade. Like, <laughs> if it wasn't for this bottle, this fragrance would definitely be in more of my videos. But I just hate holding this bottle. I just feel so... I don't know. I don't know what it is. I just don't like it. But let me tell you the notes. There's ginger blossom. There's orange blossom. There's pink pepper. There's pomegranate. There's datura. There's dolce de leche. There's Haitian vetiver, tonka, and patchouli. It's a very sweet fragrance. It's playful. It's flirty. It's sexy. This is... Uh, let me put this on. I love this. It's just a beautiful scent. It smells so amazing. There's nothing basic about it. There's nothing generic about it. I just don't like this bottle. But definitely, every time I wear this fragrance, I get compliments on this fragrance, guys. So, 
My next most complimented fragrance is of course, none other than Maison Francis Kirk John Baccarat Rouge 540. Let's just talk about her real, real quick and get her out the way because I know you guys are probably tired of hearing about this fragrance, not just from my channel, just YouTube in general. YouTube is always like, pushing this fragrance down everybody's throat. But this is definitely one of my most complimented fragrances. It's a beautiful scent. I'm sure you guys know all about this fragrance. If you don't, there's a bunch of videos of me talking about this fragrance that I'll link in my description box for you of what you should know before you purchase if you haven't purchased this fragrance already. But this is definitely a most complimented fragrance. There's so many dupes of this fragrance, guys. But for me, nothing beats the original. Yeah, you need this one if you wanna get compliments. Baccarat Rouge 540. So keep it in the house of MFK. Now we have Gentle Fluidity Gold. Guys, a beautiful fragrance. This can be unisex, but for me, this leans a little bit more feminine. Or not a little bit. I feel like this one leans feminine. And the silver one, oh, so good. This is so good. And the silver one leans masculine. Now this fragrance can be worn all year round for me. I wear this fragrance all year round. This is definitely an amazing fall and winter scent. Like if you want to save it for the fall and just, you know, look forward to wearing it in the fall because it's definitely one of those comforting, cozy type of fragrances, then this is a great one. But you can wear this in the summertime as well. I've been wearing it in the spring. I don't know if I'm going to wear it on a super, super hot day because it is a very sweet fragrance, or maybe I won't wear it in the sun. You know, you have those fragrances that you wear in the sun, and then you have those fragrances that you wear at night. This is a summertime night fragrance, a beautiful scent. There's juniper berries, there's nutmeg, coriander, musk, ambery woods, and vanilla. Every time I wear this, I get compliments on this fragrance. And when I say compliments, guys, I'm not talking about just from Bay or my immediate like inner circle. People that know that I smell good and they always, you know, half the time people that really know that you smell good won't give you compliments because it's like, all right, here this chick go smelling good again. Like I'm not gonna keep telling her she smells good every time I see her. So mainly when I'm talking about compliments, I'm talking about compliments from strangers. People that have never met me, never been around me. They don't know that I wear fragrances and I smell good all the time. So I'm telling you because these are legitimate compliments. So definitely every time I wear this fragrance, Gentle Fluidity Gold, I'm definitely getting asked, what are you wearing? People want me to write this down. Like I've written this down for someone before. Like guys, get your nose on this one. If you don't have it, this is one that you should have in your collection. Gentle Fluidity Gold by MFK. Next, we have this sultry, sensual, seductive fragrance by Tom Ford, Noir, and this is the Pour Femme version. Guys, this is one of the only fragrances that I have in my collection that can be a super sexy date night fragrance. This can be an occasion fragrance, a special occasion type of fragrance, but this can also be a running around, running errands on a chill day type of fragrance. It's so versatile. I absolutely love this fragrance if you don't know this is not a part of tom ford's private blends but guys this actually lasts longer than any one of my tom ford private blend fragrances this lasts so long on my skin it lasts on my clothes you get so many compliments it projects it's beast mode I'll tell you some of these notes there's mandarin there's bitter orange there's ginger there's rose absolute there's jasmine there's orange blossom there's um vanilla there's amber there's sandalwood this is such an amazing fragrance guys people don't talk about it as much i feel like it's really slept on definitely one of my top five from tom ford it's a beautiful sexy fragrance like i said it's creamy it has like that little spiciness from the ginger and there's other spices in here definitely a beautiful scent and like i said you can get this at a great price and i think you can get it at discounters as well if you like to shop like for discount you know on discounted sites but definitely guys noir parfum by tom ford one of my most complimented fragrances guys i wore this fragrance the other day to run errands and go to the mall and i did a couple of things seriously like every step i took or maybe not every step but everywhere that i went everyone was asking like oh what is it and mind you a lot of people have stopped wearing their masks when they're outside because you know people are getting vaccinated and they feel like they don't have to wear their mask anymore but i'm saying people that are still wearing their mask are complimenting me on this fragrance like i said i wore it the other day and it was almost like geez louise like everyone is literally asking me like what are you wearing oh my goodness what is that like it's it's crazy like this one right here is this should have been the last one on the list <laughs> because she's definitely a compliment beast. So pretty, so beautiful, so fruity, kind of reminiscent of Baccarat Rouge by 40 when you first spray it. But honestly, I don't really get that anymore. Like it, 
I guess it does remind me of it in a sense, but it's completely different, guys. This has lychee, this has cassis, this has mandarin orange, there's peony, water lily, jasmine, there's ambroxan, there's praline, musk, vanilla, and oak moss. Now, riddle me this. How is it possible that a lot of these fragrances that smell similar to Baccarat Rouge don't have the same notes as Baccarat Rouge? Is it me? <laughs> Because this, I mean, they both share ambroxan, okay? But a lot of fragrances have patchouli, but that doesn't mean that all patchouli fragrances smell the same. A lot of fragrances have vanilla. All vanilla fragrances don't smell the same. Why does this smell similar to Baccarat Rouge 540 with completely different notes? If somebody could go in the comments and explain that to me, then we need to have a conversation about this because I'm so confused when it comes to that. Like seriously, so confused. But anyway, I digress. <laughs> this is a beautiful scent, guys. Greenwich Village by Bond Number no. 9. One of my most complimented fragrances to the fact that it's almost embarrassing for me. Next up, we have Creed Aventus for Her. According to the Creed website, this fragrance was inspired by Queens and empresses and heads of state and just powerful women and when i wear this fragrance that's exactly how i feel very powerful i feel rich i feel sexy i feel like i can just take on the world it's a beautiful beautiful scent it's kind of like powdery it's citrus you can wear it in the summertime you can wear it in the winter i told you guys before that i have worn this fragrance in the winter and it performs great all year round but I love wearing it in the spring and the summer. This is definitely like a day party type of scent. You're wearing it on a yacht. You're wearing it on a boat, maybe like a dinner cruise. Beautiful, guys. So there's patchouli, there's green apple, there's bergamot, there's lemon, pink pepper, there's sandalwood, there's rose, there's musk, there's peach. There's a lot of notes in this fragrance. Guys, it's definitely not a safe flying by. Now, when you hear some of the notes, like I noticed with niche fragrances, like you'll hear like peach and rose and pear and apple and you know fruity notes like that and you're like oh this is like you know you imagine it smelling one way and then when you smell it it's like oh this is different this is i don't know what kind of apple this is this is the apple that adam and eve was eating <laughs> I don't know, but this is a different type of apple. For me, definitely not a safe flying by because I've had people smell this before, didn't like it. For me, I love it. This was love at first sniff. Bay purchased this for me when the world started to open back up again. It was one of the first fragrances that I purchased from the mall when we opened back up. And this has like so much meaning to me <laughs> for that. Most times I wear this, I get compliments. People love this fragrance. Now it smells different on a paper than it smells on your skin. A lot of fragrances do, but some don't. But this is definitely one that you have to try out on your skin because it smells different, like very different on a paper than it will on your skin. So you may smell it on a paper and be taken aback a little bit. But once you spray it on your skin and it starts to mesh with your chemistry and warm up with your body, it may be a different experience for you. But this is a great one, guys. If you want compliments, definitely this prestigious rich smelling fragrance this is a beast as well super long lasting you don't have to overspray i overspray it because that's just what i do but guys a beautiful one creed aventus for her last but not least we have this tiziana terenzi fragrance talea guys you know this is my holy grail fragrance this is such a beautiful scent that i'm so ecstatic to have in my collection I can't wait to go on vacation and just take this overseas with me. This is a fragrance that I want to wear on a resort. I want to wear this at nighttime or we're going to dinner. I want to wear this in Thailand. I could totally see me wearing this in Bangkok and rocking this on a rooftop bar, living my best life smelling like this. Do you guys have experiences like that when you smell a fragrance and you just automatically know, okay, I want to wear this fragrance here. I have a certain event. I have a certain vacation. And this isn't necessarily a vacation scent. It's not like a vacation scent in the sense of it's tropical and beachy or suntan lotion-y, salty, sea breezy. <laughs> it's not like that. But it just smells like just someplace exotic. It smells different. It smells like you want to wear this someplace where you're not from. You know what I mean? Like that's what I get when I smell this fragrance and I cannot wait to wear this outside of the country. So there's bergamot, there's Sicilian orange, there's hawthorn, there's pear, there's ambergris, there's jasmine. 
There's a lot of notes in this fragrance, guys. This is one of my Holy Girl fragrances. It's a long-lasting beast. If you're interested in this fragrance, save 20% on SoAvantGarde.com and get this fragrance, guys. It's very, very expensive, but you get what you pay for. Aside from the packaging being so luxurious and the bottle being like a showpiece, you know, it's an art piece with the, it looks like jewelry on the top. The juice inside is impeccable. The juice inside is so long lasting. It's so exotic. It's so different smelling. It's a beautiful, beautiful scent, guys. This is one of my favorite fragrances. One of my favorite Tiziana Terenzi fragrances. One of my favorite fragrances, period. It's one of my Holy Grail fragrances. This is a most complimented fragrance. When people smell this, they're always like intrigued. Like, what are you wearing? Not like, you know, you get some of those compliments where it's like, oh, you smell good. Like, that smells good. Mm, something smells good. This is a, what is that? Like, this is a head turner. This is definitely a head turner. This is a showstopper. Come on, Kobe, go about your business so we can live our best lives with these fragrances out here. But guys, yes, definitely Talea, one of my most complimented fragrances. All right, guys, so we've come to the end of the video. I want you to leave me some comments and let me know what are some of your most complimented fragrances. I want to know if we share the same list. And I also want to know what your fragrances are so I can add some stuff to my list. Because like I said, I do not wear fragrances for compliments. But when I do get a compliment, I'm like, yeah, mm-hmm. Yeah, I know I smell good. Always. Okay? Thank you guys to stay safe, be great, stay great, and always strive for greatness. AI the Great, signing out, but I'll see you in my next video. Peace.